Hello, welcome to this lecture on chemical potential. I am Gopala Krishnan. I am a faculty in the Department of Chemistry, DG Vaishnav College. In this lecture, I am going to discuss chemical potential for pure substances. Okay, uh, let me get you to the topic. Chemical potential for pure substances. Yeah. Chemical potential is denoted by the symbol mu. Okay. What is chemical potential for a pure substance? What is the definition for pure substance? Okay, the substance may be a gas or a liquid or a solid, whatever maybe it is. For pure substance, chemical potential is nothing but gives free energy of the substance divided by number of moles. Okay, so you take uh, uh, some n mole of substance, n mole of some pure substance, right? It has some gives free energy G. Okay, so this is gives free energy for n mole of substance. Divide that value by n you will get Gibbs free energy for one mole of substance, also called molar Gibbs free energy. Okay, it, is, it can even be uh, given like this. Okay, it is called molar Gibbs free energy, right? It represented as uh, Gm. Okay, now so this is the definition for chemical potential. Chemical potential is nothing but molar Gibbs free energy of a substance. Okay, or we can say Gibbs free energy for one mole of a substance. Right? This is the definition for pure substances. Okay, now uh, let me take uh, ideal gas first. Uh, before that, you know this expression, this is a general expression for Gibbs free energy. dg equal to vdp minus sdt. Okay, this is the general fundamental thermodynamic equation for uh, uh, Gibbs free energy. Okay, dG equal to VdP minus SdT, and this is applicable for closed system. This equation is applicable for closed system. Okay, yeah. Suppose uh, if it for one mole of substance. Okay, this equation is applicable for n mole, right? For one mole, what to do? Divide the value by n. So divide values by n in both the side I am going to divide by n in both the side I am going to divide the value by n okay as I stated before chemical potential is nothing but gives free energy by number of moles so g by n become mu okay so d mu what is d mu change in chemical potential is equal to v by n will give you molar volume into dp minus S by N will give you molar entropy into dt. Okay, this is an alternative form of equation, very very useful equation. Right, and this equation is applicable for closed system and for pure substance. Okay, change in chemical potential is equal to molar volume into change in pressure minus molar volume into change in temperature. Okay, now uh, at constant temperature, suppose if I keep temperature constant, at constant temperature, you know very well, uh, if you keep temperature constant, then dt becomes zero. If dt becomes zero, then this part becomes zero. Therefore, change in chemical potential can be given as Vm into dp. Okay, Vm is nothing but molar volume and dp is uh, change in pressure. Then, so uh, d mu this is where we left in the last page d mu equal to molar volume into dp at constant temperature okay this equation is applicable for uh, infinite similarly small change for a finite change okay you have to integrate this for a finite change we should calculate change in chemical potential delta mu delta mu is nothing but integral of d mu okay so we have to integrate this so integral of Vm into dp, right? So here uh, uh, pressure is the varying factor. So p. 
So, uh, initial pressure P i to some final pressure P f. We have to integrate this, right? If you integrate this, the integral value of this will give you change in chemical potential. Okay. So, what is change in chemical potential? It is nothing but chemical potential when pressure is P f. Okay. Final chemical potential, right? Uh, temperature can be anything. Uh, but I told you already, we kept temperature constant. Let the constant temperature is T minus chemical potential at the initial stage P i T. Okay. So, delta mu is nothing but change in chemical potential. Change in chemical potential means final potential, chemical potential minus initial chemical potential. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, this is the general expression. Right. Now, uh, suppose if I take the initial pressure as P naught. What is P naught? P naught is nothing but standard, right? Uh, standard, standard pressure. What is standard pressure? Standard pressure is actually one bar. Okay, and temp, you know very well. Uh, according to standard state, right? Pressure should be one bar. Temperature can be anything, but by convention we take uh, temperature as twenty-five degrees Celsius. Okay, but here I I don't want to mention that uh, uh, conventional temperature and all. I am going to give you the temperature as T. Okay. And let the final pressure be P. So, what I am going to do, I am going to change this expression. Instead of Pf and Pi, I am going to write it as P0 and P. So, chemical potential in the final state, right, instead of Pf, I will put P at temperature T minus uh, chemical potential for the initial pressure P0. What is P0? P naught is the standard pressure. Remember, at the standard pressure, the chemical potential of the substance is called standard chemical potential mu naught. Okay. Listen, at the standard state, the potential is called chem standard chemical potential. Standard state means very simple. You take, uh, 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 that is, uh, you should keep the substance, right, at a pressure of 1 bar and temperature can be anything. Okay. So, here temperature can be anything, but pressure should be 1 bar. Okay, is equal to so initial pressure P naught to some final pressure P to Vm into dP, or you can also write this as chemical potential at some pressure P at some temperature T. Okay, at and at a constant temperature T can be given as standard chemical potential mu naught. Remember, standard chemical potential is a function of temperature. As temperature changes, standard chemical potential will change. Plus P naught to P, right, Vm into dP. This is the general expression for chemical potential, okay, for a substance, for a pure substance in a closed system. I repeat, this equation is applicable for closed system and for pure substance. Pure substance. This is a general expression for chemical potential. So, chemical potential at any given pressure P and at a temperature T, is equal to standard chemical potential plus uh, this integral value. Okay. This is a general expression. Now, if you take an ideal gas, okay, first I will consider an ideal gas here. In this lecture, I am going to give you only ideal gas. By next lecture, I will uh, give you the expression for real gas. Okay. So, suppose you take uh, a pure ideal gas in a container, closed container. And you know very well, for ideal gas, uh, we have the equation PV equal to nRT. Okay. See, PV equal to nRT is the only equation applicable for all ideal gas. Okay. This, this is the only equation applicable for ide all ideal gas. Right. Then, for uh, uh, one mole of substance, we can write. So, V become molar volume. Uh, yeah, n one mole means put N equal to 1. So, you will get Vm equal to P into Vm equal to RT or we can write Vm equal to RT by P. Observe this carefully. We have only one expression for molar volume for an ideal gas. We have only one expression. This is the expression Vm equal to RT by P. Substitute this expression here. So, chemical potential at some pressure P at a given temperature T equal to Standard chemical potential, okay, plus uh, integral P naught to P, 
right? In the place of Vm, I'll substitute this Rt by P into dP. Okay, you know very well R is gas constant, and uh, in this uh, we have already kept temperature also as constant. So R and T are constants here. You can take it out. So mu naught T plus Rt integral P naught to P dP by P. Okay, and you know very well integral of dP by P is ln P. Okay, so upper limit is P and lower limit is P naught. So I can write directly that chemical potential at some pressure P and at a constant temperature T equal to standard chemical potential at temperature T plus R T into integral of dP by P is ln P. Upper limit is P, lower limit is P naught. Therefore, we can write directly ln P by P naught. Okay, this is the general expression for chemical potential of an ideal gas. This is applicable for pure ideal gas. You take any pure ideal gas, and this is the equation uh, which we use to calculate the standard, uh, sorry, the chemical potential. Okay, yeah. So how chemical potential varies with the pressure? Yeah, I'll show you in the next page. So. This is the expression we ended up in the last page. Chemical potential at any pressure P and at a, at a constant temperature T is equal to standard chemical potential. And I told you standard chemical potential varies with the temperature plus RT into ln P by P naught. Okay. Now, if I plot, if I plot chemical potential in Y axis and uh, uh, pressure in x axis what type of graph we will get so this is just a, a lawn graph so the plot of lawn graph will look like this as pressure increases okay uh, chemical potential will increase in this manner right let this be the p naught okay you, you know very well p naught is nothing but one bar right so at p naught the substance will have some chemical potential that is nothing but mu naught Okay, see what is uh, uh, what is the chemical potential? What is what is standard chemical potential? Very simple. Chemical potential at the standard pressure is called standard chemical potential. Okay, yeah. So this is the uh, graph uh, connecting uh, chemical potential and pressure. So as pressure increases, chemical potential also increases at constant temperature. Since temperature is constant, this graph is also called an isotherm. That's an isotherm. Okay, yeah. So this is the uh, method to find or to determine chemical potential of a substance at uh, uh, some pressure P and at constant temperature T. Okay, related to some reference state. Okay, some reference state mu naught. Okay, yeah. I stop here. Uh, by next lecture, we'll discuss chemical potential of uh, real gas. Okay, thank you.